Okay, this is an update of my Star PD and, and the 3030. I don't know if I've updated that since. Um, okay, so what do I want to talk about? Um, well, uh, we might as well start with safety clearing. It, huh? I'm at a weird angle. This is interesting. So. Uh, Down the barrel, maybe, you know, nothing. All right. Um, I've shot it a couple times since the first video, and I've shot two brands of ammunition through it, both at 230 grain full metal jackets, and I've shot Remington UMC and Cellar and Belly it uh, something. And now, since I don't have all that much experience with firearms, I think most of it's me, but some of it was the ammunition. Um, the cellar and belly, it, I was not hitting very much with. I was averaging maybe two hits per every six six rounds, which is a, a mag um, on target. And with the Remington, that's up to a little over four on average. Um, granted, some of it is me because I. I'm still getting used to this gun, and um, if I was to take it and bench sight it, that would probably improve it a little bit. But, so, I don't know what the deal is. Looking at the rounds side by side, which I don't have any cellar and belly here right now, but if I did, I'd show you. They visually look different. Um, the two rounds just do. Uh, one's, I think the cellar and belly looks longer, the actual bullet. Uh, I don't know. Could be wrong. Uh, also, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I was able to. I bought two, uh, two mags, two extra mags. Both were pro mags. I don't know. They seem to work so good so far for me. I've only heard one bad thing about pro mags. I haven't heard much else. Um, I was able to get them for fifteen dollars a piece, which was pretty cheap considering all the other mags. Even the other pro places that sold pro mags were about thirty plus a piece. So, and I'm not going to mention my source, you have to take the tedious time to search it, like I had to. Uh, even though, I don't think anybody really owns these anymore. There's not one single vid, other than mine, on YouTube about this type of weapon. There's not. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Uh, I also got a UTG... Uh, tactical leg drop down holster um, it works pretty good it's meant it's designed for full size autos the compact does fit in it it looks slightly weird but not but it, it works um, I don't like it all that much and it's not the brand it's the carry position um, for things I'm going to be doing this is very cumbersome sticking out your leg I didn't even realize that I'd always like the looks attack holsters, and they look like they functioned well, though I, I don't know. Uh, and it's not the UTG brand. The brand's fine. It's made well. It's pretty inexpensive. F feels good. Fits the gun well, too. Has an extra mag pouch. Um, it's just the carry position. Uh, I'm thinking about going to a shoulder. Uh, as a matter of fact, UTG for that also. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw that over there. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else we want on this. Haven't fed FMJs, or, uh, hollow points through it. Uh, I'm going to try getting some soon. They're expensive. It's almost like twice, it, it's over twice the amount for hollow points. Uh, I can get Remington UMC 45 FMJs for about $20 per 50 and most hollow points that I've seen, even Remington's, are around 23, and 20 to 23 for 25 of them. And I want some to keep in my gun for home defense, and I want to shoot some to make sure they feed. 
and that's just it's a lot of money for, for me especially um, uh, the recoil on this isn't bad pretty manageable um, also that comes with experience uh, handling stuff now I don't have that much experience handling pistols but I do have with high powered firearms and I seem to be able to handle this pretty well um, when I shoot this the recoil seems at least to be about what some people experience on a 40 on some 40s like the inexperienced people I, I don't know how much sense that made um, but it's not too bad for a compact 45 that's pretty light this is pretty light for uh, its size the lower is aluminum not steel so it, it lines it up a couple a little bit uh, of course a polymer frame lower would be lighter you know glocks and <laughs>